I think if there's one thing most human beings have learned is that you have this void inside of you. And no matter what, you can't fill it. Long time ago, I tried drugs. Didn't fill it, but... Sorry. What was that? I'm currently trying alcohol. That's not working either. You can try sex, but that doesn't work. Trust me. Mrs. X. Nympho. Statues haven't been working either. So as the new year is here, how am I going to fill this void? That's what she said. <laughs> hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Extreme Channel. This is kind of a sad day. That's right, it is the last countdown of our end of the year New Year's countdowns. But maybe that's a good day for you. Maybe you don't like these and you're looking forward to what's coming up in the month and the entire year. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Today is the most anticipated experiences of 2024. This is an offshoot of the video we did towards the end of 2023, the coolest experiences. Well, you gotta have stuff to look forward to. I'm a big believer in that. You have to have rewards. Whether it's something small, like if you're on a diet, hey, if I lose five pounds in a month, I can go to a steak dinner. Or once I make a certain income, I can purchase this awesome collectible. But for me, it's all about the upcoming experience because I can work my ass off 70 or 80 hours a week with stress up to the whatever it's up to, as long as I know I have a reward or something to look forward to. Other than the sweet release of death, which is very enticing. So with that being said, today I wanted to look at the top 10 things I'm excited for in 2024. Some of them are collecting related. So if you missed it, a few days ago we did the most anticipated custom statues of 2024. I almost said three. And prior to that, it was the licensed statues. You can check out those videos right here. While I'm not gonna dive into individually, that is the number 10 thing on the list I'm looking forward to, is all those cool ass collectibles that we're talking about. Because those aren't the only ones I'm getting in, and while I don't foresee myself buying a lot more, if you've been following the channel, you know I'm not buying too much. Although some life-size stuff might come because I'm still loving that Spider-Man that's behind the camera here. So that's my number 10 thing, the cool ass collectibles coming in 2024 that I'm looking forward to. Number nine is a recent announcement. Gem Mint Collectibles and I have been close for a number of years, and we started this new podcast, Gem X Live. You can see the merge of the names there, and we talk about anything and everything. Most of it isn't collecting related, but it's other things we're passionate about. It's other big topics. So make sure you've subscribed to that. There's a link in the description of this video, and I'm also throwing it right up there. So make sure you click on that and subscribe to that. Very cool topics. It's a great time. Number eight is also collecting related. You know, this year we hit 30,000 subs. The channel's not growing very fast anymore, but like I said, that's okay. I do it for a hobby, but I do like the growth. So I'm excited to hit 40,000 subs this year. I think we can do it. We're at 32,000 when I'm filming this. 40,000 subs would be awesome and uh, kind of weird that 40,000 people watch you. They just watch you. I'm not that entertaining, and some of you are nodding. Yeah, that's right, you're not. Number seven is my annual boys trip to Vegas. So this is probably going to be the biggest one ever because it just leaks out how fun it is. We have, I think, like 10 different guys, which some will inevitably fall off. But we're probably going to do it. We don't have an exact date yet. We're looking at a few different dates, probably between May and August. Really excited. We get into some big, big trouble in Vegas. Nothing that my wife hasn't seen before, but Vegas with the boys will be absolutely amazing. Number six is a little worrisome on this list. So I talked about this in a few different videos. Uh, actually, right now, I think it's right now, I may be in the Caribbean at an all-inclusive for a trip I arranged for like 90 people. I might not be able to go. I have no idea. This just came up. Uh, this is a work trip, and it's a reward trip that I arranged for a bunch of the employees. However, I may have to stay behind for some serious work. That's all I can tell you. So time will tell. But yeah, while this is launching, hopefully I'm there. If not, incredibly disappointing, but sometimes work comes first. Mr. X, you're telling me you would give away a free trip that you spent countless hours arranging to do work? If it needs to be done. You recall the Secrets to Success video I did a while back right here? Sometimes you have to make the tough decisions. But sometimes the decisions are easy. Like when you cook a steak, you never get it past medium. That's barely acceptable. Medium rare is where to go. 
If you cook your steak more than that, stop watching my channel, you evil, evil person. Number five, this one's a little rocky too. And no, it's not like the second movie of Sylvester Stallone as the boxer, but it's a little rocky too. And I'm thinking about this. Number one is actually pretty rocky as well. So uh, the reason why this one is rocky is initially when they came out of the gate this year, the Nuggets were on fire and they're still doing relatively good. The day I'm filming this, they just had an awesome game last night. But uh, I'm hoping they're going to make it to the finals and win the championship again. I'm looking forward to that. They've been doing amazing. I'm a season ticket holder. I got to see all the finals last year, as you're probably aware. Very cool. That's my number five thing I'm most anticipating. Number four is uh, cruise. We have a cruise bit, bit, it's bit, it's bit for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's like a 10 day cruise going to some of our favorite islands. Very stoked about that. Initially, we had three cruises booked this year, and uh, due to reasons we might talk about, two of them are gone. So this may be the only cruise for the year. Hashtag real world problems, right? I only get to go on one cruise, but I'm super looking forward to it. Number three, uh, I just spent a few weeks ago uh, some, some time in Vegas with my wife. There's actually going to be a video about it here in a few days. So make sure you've not only liked this video, but you've subbed to the channel and hit the bell notification. However, we get a much longer trip where we're not catering to a bunch of people. That is actually coming up in about two months here. We actually have, I think it's four weeks in a row, we have like three trips together. But this one with my wife, I'm super excited about. We have two days to do absolutely nothing. So three days actually, I believe. So really excited and uh, I hope if my wife is watching this, which is highly unlikely, she recognizes Vegas with the boys was number seven, Vegas with her was number three. The number two thing I'm looking forward to, and th again, I filmed things way in advance. This was filmed over a month in advance is uh, the Broncos games in 2024. So uh, another team, I was able to get season tickets and we have an incredible experience. Right now, they just destroyed the Chargers. That's when this is filming. So they are in the playoff hunt. We still have four games this year and I'm going to three of them, which is awesome. Uh, I'm flying up to Detroit in a few days to actually see them and that'll be a really good game. And I don't know how this is gonna age well. I don't know if they're gonna win out. I don't know if they're gonna go zero and four. I don't know if they're gonna be in the playoffs, but by the time this launches, I will know. So I'm not only excited about how this year ends, it may already be over, but next year, that was one of the coolest things I've ever done is had those tickets with that club. It is so amazing and so exciting. The last one is a little weird because my wife and I, it's our 20th anniversary this year. So we have a big bucket list of stuff we want to do and we've done quite a bit as well. So initially we were looking at the Maldives. However, the problem with that is she wants to bring the children, which makes it about a $40,000 trip. Even for somebody like Mr. X, that's tough to swallow, and I can swallow a lot. <laughs> so eventually, we settled on about a $30,000 trip, and we booked it. The trip was going from London to Paris to Rome to Greece to Jerusalem to Cairo to Turkey to Cyprus and then back. Well, as you may be aware, a war broke out in Israel. Our travel agent actually had to cancel the entire itinerary. I was so looking forward to this specifically for Jerusalem and Cairo. Egypt and Israel, those are my probably my two biggest bucket lists, or at least in my top five bucket lists of places I wanna visit. So now we have to go back to the drawing board and we don't know what we're gonna do. Again, Maldives would be amazing, but that's a big price tag. So where we're sitting right now, we're probably gonna do a big European run with the kids. My wife and I have done it before with the exception of Paris but my kids have never been, so we'll probably do like London, Paris, Rome, a few other places, and we're gonna do it in the summer. We just don't know exactly what it is. So number one, I would kind of say the summer trip, anniversary trip, European trip, and it could flip, who knows what it's gonna be. And I'll tell you this, if I don't get to go to the all-inclusive, if I don't get to go to number six, it's gonna be a huge trip. But that's what I'm most excited for in 2024. Now there's some other things, but I'll talk about those on the GemX podcast. So again, make sure you check that out as well. So please, let me know in the comments, what are you most excited for in 2024? And uh, you could go down the road. I will probably go on the GemX podcast if you want, because I love to read your comments. I love to banter with you guys. And more importantly, we can grow and win a statue. Well, I wouldn't win the statue and you wouldn't grow, but I would grow and you would actually, I wouldn't grow. This is confusing. The, the channel would grow, but you have to comment and like and sub to make it happen. Got it? As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one was easy. 
First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. All right, countdowns are over. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate you. Please, uh, I hope you're having a great year so far. If not, you still have time to turn it around. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.